Get up and go with Duncan and Carly on demand. Today's a big day. Today is the day. Today's the day! All right, honey, today's the day. It's the Get Up and Go Show. And today is... Today is Girl Scout Founders Day. So I would assume today is the day that the Girl Scouts was founded. Shout out. That'd be a good assumption, Carly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's also National Magic Day. Okay. National Caramel Apple Day. Did you ever want to be a magician? Is that only a thing that boys go through? Yeah, I think so. I oh. think that is only a boy thing. I remember my brother wanting to do that. Okay. I think he got a magic kit one time and everything. Yep. Yeah. Uh, National Caramel Apple Day. Where are you at with caramel apples? Mm, maybe once a year. I always, we were at Sea Caps and we went into the little store and they have caramel apples and I almost bought one because I love caramel. I love caramel apples, but they're so hard to eat. It makes me upset. Yeah. And they get stuck to And they're teeth. really bad for your teeth. And yeah. Ugh. It's also National Knock Knock Joke Day. So maybe we should find some good knock knock jokes no, today. Let's yes, not I do think that. we should. I think we should. And of course, it's Halloween today. Woo! So you made the assumption that it's uh, the Girl Scouts were founded on this day? Yes. The Girl Scouts were founded on March 12th, 1912. <laughs> so I have no idea why <laughs> that day is. What is this? Hold on. I'm so glad that we are, uh, you know, prepared? Really prepared with our for our show today. Yes. <laughs> That's why people like us. <laughs> because We're in this together, everybody. We're real. Um, oh, it's the birthday of the founder of the Girl Scouts. That's why we're celebrating Girl Scout Founders Day. Do we need a day for that? Sure. Okay. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> 106.9 KROC. It's Duncan and Carly. Today's day. I've got the worst Halloween candy for your teeth, according to a new survey by Bite. Top five answers on the board. Um, Sour Patch Kids. Uh, I'm surprised. What about um nerds? Woo! There we go. Okay, good, good. What about um, trying to think of stuff that gets stuck in your teeth? Laffy Taffies. Number two. Okay. Is like Snickers on the list? Chocolate. <laughs> I feel as if I'm close based on that reaction. Mm. <laughs> so let's go through these. Okay. They're not specific. Oh. Toffee is number five. Oh, yeah. That's pretty Who is eating toffee? I mean, toffee is good sometimes. Yeah, but not for Halloween, right? You know yeah, no. You don't go to grandma's house and get Werther's no. for Halloween, no. <laughs> uh, coated candy. Oh. Like hot tamales. Oh. Anything oh, that has that yes. coating on it. Yes. Uh, Mike and Ike's, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Hard candy, like Jolly oh. Ranchers or Nerds. Oh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. Taffy, number two. Mm -hmm. And caramels. Oh, duh. Caramels. Of course. Uh, no, nobody says that. <laughs> that was caramel. <laughs> 1069 KRC. I feel like we need to investigate this before we go on the air and talk about candy corn being okay. made out of bug poop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want me to go to the Google? Is that what you're hoping for? Can right you now? find like a, a second source? Because apparently the New York Post put up an article that claims the candy's slick outer coating is made from resin, which is the uh, secretion of a red fr from the secretion of a red Asian insect called a lac bug. Yeah, they eat they eat the tree sap, don't they? Is that isn't that what it is? And then their their poop is nice and sticky. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's what they are, they're alluding to. I don't know how it works. I don't know how they get the secretion. If they have to take the bug and like squeeze it like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> squeeze it out like a tube of toothpaste. <laughs> and that's how like there's one guy at the candy oh corn God. factory that has to do that. <laughs> I don't know if this is true or not. Oh my God. But apparently, according to this report, handy, uh, candy corn, Halloween candy corn is made from bug secretion. Carly, are you finding any other sources that confirm that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. There's um. Oh, now that you. <laughs> There's a a story from this website called Food Beast from 2017 that says candy corn is basically made out of insect resin. Okay. Uh, Cooking Panda posted a YouTube video in 2017 said, "Here's how candy corn is made, and it's super gross." Uh, let's see. The ingredients list candy corn's coating as confectioner's glaze, which also goes by lac resin, which also goes by lac bugs. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Great. <All> right. <laughs> love that. So first, we learned that black licorice is deadly. It's going to kill you. <laughs> and now, candy corn is made of poop. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> Duncan and Carly in the morning. Celebrity sound bites. On 106.9 KROC. Ryan Gosling absolutely loves Halloween. Loves Halloween a lot. Is this true? They said that you leave the decorations up year-round. All year-round. You don't take Halloween decorations down? No. What do you have out there right now? Well, you got your tombstones. You got a lot of, like, sneaky skulls. Um, you know. What happens at Christmas? Your bats, your witch, your witches. It's just, uh, what's that? What, ab- what about Christmas? I think they, they go well together. <laughs> I, I love Halloween, but I would never keep my decorations He's up that all neighbor. year. <laughs> He's that guy. You just got to put some Christmas lights on those gravestones and you're good. Yeah, there you go. And they're ready. <laughs> and they're ready to go. <laughs> In other news, we were just talking about candy corn being made of uh, bug poop. <laughs> One person that loves candy corn is Chrissy Teigen. I saw a tweet. People were, you know, people on Twitter love to be mad at candy corn. And I had typed out a tweet where I said, I don't know, guys. I kind of like it. And when I say kind of, I. Candy corn. You really like candy corn? And I had typed this out, yeah. and then I was like, I can't say this. It's too controversial. <laughs> like, it really is. Of all the things yeah, that yeah. I've done, yeah. and I'm like, no. no yeah. like, oh. so you didn't send it out. Um, the audience, I couldn't send you. it. Do you guys like candy corn? Absolutely. I'm do you, back. Do you think, I think it tastes like like a buttery ma- Mrs. Buttersworth. Like it t- to me, it tastes like oh. a delicious syrup. That's funny that she thinks that's the controversial thing. <laughs> She's not going to oh, yeah. post. Out of all the she, things she said, yeah. <laughs> Like, she is just so much on mm. social media, but decides that saying that she likes candy corn is too much. I would love to get in John Legend's head. You, yeah, you just said like, that. You're oh, like, my God. How, shut up, Chrissy. How You're embarrassing me work? again. Yes. 106.9 KROC with Duncan and Carly. So I've got the top couple costumes of 2023. Oh. Barbie and Ken. Yes, of course. Uh, Princess Peach and Mario. Oh, I was going to say Mario and Luigi. That would have been funny. We almost did that this year, actually. <laughs> Which would be Mario? Uh, I said I would be Mario because I'm shorter. Oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. But then we Your husband with- kind of looks like Luigi. I mean, he can draw a mustache. He has brown hair. He's tall and he's got brown hair. Yeah. He's tall and skinny. <laughs> Great. He, he could pull off Luigi. Uh. Perfect. <laughs> Any brown haired, tall, small man <laughs> will be able to pull off Luigi. <laughs> so, other classics include Little Red Riding Hood, uh, Hood and the Wolf. That's, that's probably because we did it last year. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ariel and, and Eric. Eric. You did that two did years that two ago. Two years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Look at us ahead of the time. Trendsetters. Yes. Everybody say good morning to Amy. Amy, tell us a good couple's costume peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have or seen that. The ones that are like the the socket and the and the plug. Yeah, <laughs> those are terrible. Right. So, yeah, I see that. I don't want to walk around as a slice of bread all night long. <laughs> or, you know, like Tar- Tarzan and Jane. Yeah, that would That's be a good, a good one. one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. I learned the other day from one of Matt's coworkers that uh, they know somebody who goes as a tree every year. And then their significant other dresses up as something else to match the tree. So, like, one year they were a squirrel. One year they were a lumberjack. Every year. A bird. Yeah, right? Emerald ash borer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm, trying to think. Of- I'm an ash tree this year, and this is my emerald ash borer that's eating me alive. <laughs> News or snoop with Duncan and Carly. On 106.9 KROC. DiGiorno is offering a new Thanksgiving pizza this year. Ooh, tell me more. I know this is probably your kind of thing, because you yes. like to put all of your Thanksgiving food together. The last bite of Thanksgiving where you take your dinner roll and you just sop everything up oh my gosh that's the best <laughs> so this pizza is right up your alley okay yes <laughs> it uses the chewy detroit style crust okay it's topped with mozzarella cheese cheddar cheese turkey sweet potatoes mm. cranberries mm. green beans mm. and gravy Keep talking <laughs> tell me more that sounds really good it's going for eleven dollars and 23 cents hold on did i miss so does it have deal. cranberry yes there are cranberries on it don't okay. worry don't worry perfect <laughs> There's a new 
well, multiple, not a new, multiple new coupon rules at Walmart. Okay. This is currently in effect, I believe. There are four different changes happening. First of all, you were able to use multiple coupons, uh, like duplicate coupons in a transaction to like get the most savings out of that. Yep. Can't do that anymore. They're limiting it to four identical coupons now okay. per transaction, per household, per day. Uh, you also, when you would go shop at Walmart, if you had a coupon for one price and then the price in the store was actually cheaper, you get the difference. They paid you. Not anymore. I didn't know that. Eh, well, it's too late now. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me that? <laughs> there are two other new rules uh, when it comes to using coupons at Walmart. We've got all the details about that on our app. And finally, if you are single and ready to mingle, there is a downtown Rochester restaurant that's offering speed dating. It's the first of a series that they're doing. Okay, I've never done speed dating. Uh huh. You just sit down and then like the clock goes off and you move? I believe so. You go through, you answer as many questions or ask as many questions as you can. What would you ask, Carly, if you only have like two minutes? You, what do you do? What do you do? How long have you lived what here? What do you like to do in your free time? Do you like animals? Are you okay with crazy cat Are you ladies? packing? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carly. You're asking, aren't you? <laughs> I'm in speed dating. <laughs> okay. Read more about that and get more local news right now on the 106.9 KROC app. It's Duncan and Carly on 106.9 KROC. There's a very weird new hack that you might need to consider trying. Okay. Where you put toilet paper in your refrigerator. So if you open up a friend's refrigerator and there's toilet paper in it, they probably saw it on TikTok or they heard it from us. Wait, why? So I was thinking First that... First of all, I don't have room in my refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Um, I was thinking that people were going to be putting toilet paper in their refrigerator for like... Toilet paper use purposes, right? Oh, I got it. You that cool is, it off so it's cool on your hiney? Not the case. That's okay. what I thought it was going to be for, but no. <laughs> that was so weird of me. I made the wiping motion here with, like, I reached around to my butt. And you had to see that, Carly, and I apologize. I did. I, did. I apologize. Nobody about else that. could experience that with me. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the real reason? So the, people are putting toilet paper in their fridge because, so you know the hack where people can take... I guess it's not really a hack. It was made for this purpose. You could take baking soda, like a box of baking soda, and you stick oh, and it, it kills in, the odor. in stinky places. Yep. You could do that with toilet paper. That's why people are using it for. They're taking a roll of toilet paper, putting it in the fridge. There are people that say that it works better than baking soda. Really? Because it just absorbs all the smell. Now, there are some, I mean, I could see that. There are other people who are saying, eh, it kind of works. Okay. Like, it works for a while. If your fridge is real stanky, it's not going to help. I don't think I want toilet paper in my fridge, though. I think people will judge you if they open your fridge and... Like, wow, you have a really smelly fridge, you yeah, know? Like, like what just, are you doing? Like, Holy cow. <laughs> yes. You were resorted to putting toilet paper in your fridge versus just cleaning out your fridge. Yeah. That's <laughs> oh when you God. know you're lazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, check out the details on that life hack right now on the 106.9 KROC app. Duncan and Carly, weekday mornings on 106.9 KROC.